Uh, team Series Local 14 yeah, out of New York City. Um, What's up? <laughs> okay, so can you just tell us a little bit about the dispute and exactly what's happening? Very similar to this dispute in a way. You know, the companies come to us and said, if you don't take a huge battery of cuts to your hours, to your wages, and to your benefits, uh, then we're not going to let you work here anymore. And these workers have been out on the street for two and a half months now. And they've got a clear plan, the company does. Let's starve these guys out until they're willing to give up their middle class jobs. And uh, it's disgraceful, especially a company like Sotheby's, which serves the highest end clients in the world. Uh, they made over $690 million in gross profit last year. And they're trying to starve out their, their own people who helped them make that money. And it's absolutely disgraceful. And it, it reminds me of this dispute in a lot of ways, where the company just doesn't bargain, uh, doesn't participate in that history of labor relations we have. They come and they give an ultimatum. Either you accept these cuts, or you don't work here anymore. Why are they doing this now? Why are they doing this confidence now at this period? No. You know, there is something in the air right now. And there's an offensive, a global offensive against working people. And unfortunately, the, work, the, the sparks here and our Teamsters in New York are, have been the targets. But I think they're going to be surprised when they find that Unite and the Teamsters are not unions who can push around. And, uh, go ahead. So, so what, I was just going to ask what the mood is yeah, amongst the employees. Well, you've met Doreen already. And you see that this is a feisty bunch. You know, We've been saving just in case something like this happened. And uh, they're getting unemployment, so we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I, I have to say it's very inspiring, the solidarity we've already seen here. You know, the London office is, you know, this is a London-based company we're up against. We're originally a London company, even though now it's traded on the stock exchange. Um, and the solidarity we're getting from, from the TUC, from uh, the RMT, and, and especially from Unite, uh, is just is, is very inspiring to our workers. So anything we can do here for, for, for these uh, these sparks here in the United States, you know, we're ready. Yeah, yeah. And what about, um, you know, solidarity from other workplaces in the U.S. or around you? What's that like? You know what? We told you that, that you know, any if they need us to come after, you know, we know these contractors have a long arm and they have interest in the United States. They need action in the United States, we'll do it. We're ready. So. And how, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Occupy Wall Street? I mean, have you, Dorian was saying that you, you were one of the first unions to come out in support uh, for the protests. I, I think what's so amazing about Occupy Wall Street is they adopted us early on. They came to us and said, how can we help you? And, uh, and they didn't even ask for anything. I mean, it was just it's just people who are motivated by the right thing, you know, which is their motivation to help us defend in America our, 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 our middle class jobs we have left. You know? and, and they've got the right message. It's uniting people all across the United States, and it's very inspiring. And you see the unions getting behind it, which is something we haven't seen in America, which is the protesters and protest types joining together with the force, very powerful forces of organized labor. And that has got the Republicans scared to death. And that's really exciting. How do you, I mean, can you, how, what do you predict like, for the next, in the short term, sort of in the next few years? Um, I mean, it's obviously, it doesn't seem to be dissipating the sort of uh, momentum. Oh, it's yeah, by Wall Street? Yeah. It seems to only be gaining momentum. I mean, yeah. look, I, I, like just last night I was talking to John Samuelson of our Transit Workers Union, sort of our RMT, and he's thrown his full support behind this thing. And then, you know, we have every building worker in New York is in a union called SEIU, and they're throwing their support behind it. And then it's spreading all over the country. And I heard, actually, yesterday, I was talking to some workers from Sydney, and they said that they're starting an Occupy Sydney. So, I mean, this kind of thing is really inspiring. So. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Yeah, 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 right? <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Excuse me. Um,